good morning children how are you doing in the previous video we had started the chapter building with bricks this is the first chapter of your book we are now going to read the subsequent pages of this chapter and i have made a special powerpoint presentation to explain this chapter in this chapter further we are going to study the different shapes of the big bricks also we will see the beautiful jalis which have been made in the jagriti school we will see the arches which are being built we will also talk about the bridges how the bridges are so sturdy and we will also learn about how the bricks are made so come children let us start with the chapter so students last time we discussed till page number 4 this time we are going to start with page number 5 what a lovely border they have made with bricks isn't it nice yeah, i am really liking it okay now children they have munya and zainab these two people have made two types of walls one is this type where the second for starting the second row they have used the center of the lower brick and then put the brick and in this wall which munia has made they have put bricks one on top of the other and they both the zainab and munia are discussing whose wall is stronger so children what do you feel which wall out of these two will be stronger zainab's or munia's now imagine if we throw a ball at this point all these four bricks will fall but if we throw the ball at this point then this brick may fall but still these two bricks may stay because these bricks are supporting these bricks so you must have seen the walls are generally made like this and not like this so these walls are stronger than this so children they have also shown us some different wall patterns let us see how have they what kind of patterns have they shown okay here are the photos of three kinds of brick walls you have to find which brick wall resembles which of these photos okay so now we have to do this very very carefully okay now let us start with this one here what they have done one brick they have kept length wise the other brick they have kept width wise again length wise width wise so this one should match i think the second one so this is like this see length wise width wise lengthwise and widthwise don't you think these two match each other okay now this one in this wall they have this one is lengthwise mm okay children i think this resembles this one see starting from here this is long 
This is also long. Then small here. It is small here. Okay. Then these two, it seems, match each other. Now come to this. The type of wall they have made has lengthwise bricks in one row and widthwise bricks in another. Look at this one. This design. Here in one row there are lengthwise bricks. In the other row there are widthwise bricks. Again the top one. Here there are lengthwise bricks and here there are widthwise bricks. Again lengthwise bricks, widthwise bricks. So I think this design matches with this wall. Okay, very interesting. We are learning a lot about Construction of walls. Quite interesting. Okay. Now, here they are going to show us the beautiful jalis which they have made in Jagriti school. Okay. Children, jalis are basically the walls with holes in them. Why the walls have holes in them? So that when the cool breeze blows, it will come through this and it will keep the school cool. You can see this pattern is different from this pattern. Okay, let us see more patterns. Oh wow, this is quite pretty. Have a look. See children, this pattern is different from this double V pattern. And this one is entirely different. So they made different patterns in these. Okay. Let us see what is there on page number 7. Okay, this is the drawing of another beautiful jali. You can see this jali. See this, these two rows, this row and this row. These two rows are supporting these holes which are there in the jali. See, one row, second row. These two rows are supporting the holes in this jali. Again, one row, two row. These are continuous. Can you see they are continuous? They are supporting the holes in the jali. Okay. Now, all of us should draw our own jali pattern in this space provided to us. But most of you, those who have the books, you, they can draw the pattern here. Okay. Now, look at this window. This type of window is called jharokha. They have made this beautiful window in the school. It is not a normal rectangular window. It's a very beautiful special kind of window. Now, you can also draw jarokhas here. What you have to do? You can see that the inside is dark. You can see this is the wall and the inside is dark. Same way, you have to draw jarokha patterns in such a way that the inside will be dark. So you have to darken the bricks with your pencil while making jarokha patterns. You can make a few jarokha patterns here. Okay children, here also they have made beautiful jali patterns and this jali pattern is from a library building in Calcutta, in Kerala. And again, the purpose is the same. See, such a lovely jali pattern is there. And the purpose is when the breeze will come and will enter the building through this jali, it will keep the building cool. See how the bricks are used. In They are broken into halves or they are put inside the mud and they are used like this in this shape 
to make walls or even to make the boundary of the uh, the plants which are grown so in hindi we call it kyari so this way the bricks are used and another very very interesting thing is this arch arch is basically a part of a circle this is a part of a circle this is from a school in faizabad and this is a part of a circle in many houses arches are made to increase the beauty of the house so children you look around and you look for some arches and for fun you can draw those arches also look around if and find out if you can see any arches and if you remember in your school also there may be some arches so you can draw those arches also so for today only till here we are going to study now we will see the presentation children this is the picture of a kiln and this is the chimney the chimney can be as high as 16 to 20 feet now an average person's height is 5 feet a grown up person average person the height is 5 feet so this is 16 to 20 feet in height we talked about drawing a brick so let me teach you how to draw a brick first draw a horizontal line then a vertical line like this now the third horizontal line should be of equal length as the first one and join these two ends we have made a rectangle now identical re rectangle we are going to make in front of it so the width of both the rectangles will be exactly same also their lengths will be exactly same see we have got two rectangles now we are going to join their respective corners have a look so we have got a cuboidal brick and see children it's going to resemble this brick isn't it very easy to make okay now our friend bhajan he went to buy bricks he was making a house for himself he went to buy bricks and when he went to to the shop he saw this was displayed in the shop this table was there in the shop the price list of the bricks and this in this price list the price of 1000 bricks was given not the, the cost of one brick was not given the cost of 1000 bricks was given now why the cost of 1000 bricks was given children the reason is that nobody goes to buy nobody goes to buy one brick or two brick or 10 bricks people go to buy bricks in thousands because they are used for making houses okay so there were three types of bricks in that shop old bricks the cost of old bricks was rupees 1200 for 1000 bricks the cost of new bricks from intapur was rupees 1800 for 1000 bricks the cost of new bricks from brikabad was rupees 2000 for 1000 bricks now he wanted to buy 3000 new bricks from brikabad 
he wants to find the cost of 3000 new bricks the cost of 1000 new bricks from brickabad is rupees 2000 okay let us write that but he wants 3000 bricks so the cost of next 1000 bricks is also 2000 2, rupees Another 1000 bricks is again 2000 rupees. So 2000 plus 2000 plus 2000, he will have to pay rupees 6000 to buy 3000 new bricks from Brickabad. Okay, now he also wanted to buy 500 old bricks. He wanted to find the cost of 500 old bricks. We have already been given the cost of 1000 old bricks is rupees 1200. Since 500 is half of 1000. So the cost of 500 old bricks will be Half of rupees 1200. So that would be 1200 divided by 2. Why are we dividing by 2? Because you know when we have to write half, we write 1 upon 2. When we have to divide something in two halves, we have to divide them in two pieces. So we are dividing rupees 1200 in two parts. So, one part will be rupees 600. So, dear children, the cost of 500 old bricks is rupees 600. So, children, half of, five, half of 1000 is 500. So, half of rupees 1200 is rupees 600. Next time when we meet, we are going to study Indian system of numeration. I request all of you to revise this. We had done it in class 3 also. Okay children, see you next time. Thank you.